Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Yankee. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about phone plans here in Spain. The prepaid option is more for those people that are coming to visit Spain or any country in Europe. And the contract option is for the people that are going to be spending an extended amount of time in this country. I have experience with both. So that being said, let's get into the video. Number one, the prepaid option. First thing I'm going to say about this is beware of the people trying to sell you prepaid phone lines in the airport. These sales techniques are very aggressive. You ever get attacked with cream? <laughs> Man, you'll be walking out of nowhere. You want to try cream? <laughs> try cream is good. It's from Israel. It's good cream. Not gonna lie, when I got off the plane, my mom was like, Andres, you need to go buy a phone line. Look, there's a phone carrier right there. So we go over to the phone carrier, and they're all nice. You know, they, they lure you in with a false sense of security. They speak English. Everything is great. And then they hit you with like this giant price, like 200 euros for a 30-day plan. I don't even remember how many gigabytes of data it gives you, or even how many minutes it gives you. But when I saw the price, I was like, Mom, that's 200 euros. That's like $250. Sorry, but no. Now, it really all depends on how long you're going to be in that country. And I can't speak for all airports because I haven't been to all the airports. But what happened to me was that when I went over to the train station outside of the airport, there was a booth. And this booth was advertising SIM cards. So I went over to the booth and I was talking to the person that worked there. And it turns out they sold SIM cards and phone plans as well. The only difference was their price was 20 euros for the exact same plan that I was going to buy in the airport for 200 euros. You don't really need to be a mathematician or anything to understand what 20 times 10 is, right? The prepaid phone line that I bought was called Vodafone. And I've been using Vodafone for about a month now. My prepaid line is going to expire next week. And I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. Please check with your current phone carrier to see if they offer data roaming. If your current phone carrier offers data roaming in the countries you want to go to, you won't need to buy a prepaid phone line. Which brings me to number two, the contract. There are plenty of phone companies that offer services to foreigners that want to spend time in Europe over here. But what I recommend is this one. O2. I don't know if that has something to do with like air and oxygen and breathing. The reason that I recommend this company is more than just the price. Phone companies in Spain tend to range from about 10 euros a month to 20 euros a month. And it's human pretext to always search for the cheapest option up front. But rather than searching for the cheapest option in the short run, I recommend assessing your goals and choosing a long term plan because I actually went to another phone company. I forget what it was called, but it was like 15 euros a month for a similar plan to what I'm buying right now. However, it did not offer data roaming. The reason why you always want to make sure that your phone carrier has data roaming is because if it doesn't, every time you go to a new country, you're going to have to buy a new prepaid phone plan. And for someone like me that wants to go to a bunch of countries in Europe and doesn't want to keep having to buy new SIM cards, O2 was the right choice because it does have data roaming in countries outside of Spain. Most phone lines that you buy in Spain only work in Spain. And I'm not talking about minutes, I'm talking about data. I recommend doing some research into phone companies for yourself because yeah, 20 euros, I guess it's more on the expensive side. But when you assess everything that this 20 euros is getting you, which if I open this pamphlet will tell me I get 20 gigabytes of data a month, which is a crazy amount. I get to use it in all European countries with my data roaming ability. And honestly speaking, that extra five euros that I'm paying per month is really just for peace of mind. And peace of mind is a very important thing when living abroad. To my knowledge, they're located in media marts. I don't know if media mart is all over Europe, but it's definitely in Spain, are these like giant convenience stores that resemble Best Buy over in America. The first time around, I wasn't sure because I was still hunting for that low price model. I was like, an extra five euros a month? Nah, slide. Let me see if I can get 15 or 10 euros. 
The second time I was pretty sold on O2, but when I got there, I didn't have my passport and I didn't have my bank account number. Bing, 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 bing. Really important information here. If you want to open up a steady line in Spain or in Europe, you're going to need to have a bank account number, which means you're going to need to open a bank account in the country you're living in. Now, I don't know if this is for all phone lines, but it is for O2. Not only that, I super recommend bringing everything in person. The third time that I went to Media Market, I had all my documents, I was all ready, I was like, yeah, let's gonna do this. I got there and I didn't bring the physical copies of my passport. Now, why do you need to do this? Because they need to make photocopies of your passport and your NIE number. Your NIE number is a number that the Spanish government's gonna give you when you get over here on your visa. It has a letter and seven numbers in between followed by another letter. Really, really, really important. I recommend taking pictures of both your passport and your NIE number on your phones. Make sure that the whole thing is there, not just like a cutoff because I had that today and now I have to take another picture and send it to an email they gave me. So you don't have to always take your passport with you wherever you're going. But in this instance, please do. You're gonna to have to be doing this in Spanish or the language of whatever country you're in. So make sure you have Google Translate in your pocket and make sure you have time because the process might take somewhere from 30 minutes to an hour. That's pretty much it for the phone plans here in Spain. Just to recap everything. Before you go to any country outside of your home country, be sure to check that your current phone provider has data roaming. Unless you're into spending 200 euros for something you can spend 20 euros for, Beware of the tourist traps. And three, O2 is the company to go to. That's it for the video today, YouTube. If you like this video, this video helps you out. Don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really trying to get to 100,000 before I'm 25, 24 right now. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. But most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.